Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you a new functionality I have implemented in Mesh Morpher which is called Load Bone Snapshot which allows us to load the, the bone snapshot through uh, animation uh, blueprints, right? It's, an, uh, it's a new uh, animation node I'm going to show you in a little bit and uh, this uh, allows us to do some stuff uh, from animation graph as well so let me show you how it works so for this video we want to convert this character base character base cc4 character we want to convert it to slacker right to another character so let me show you we will open this uh, base skeletal mesh in uh, mesh morpher and uh, we will go to create from mesh files right we want first to create uh, the morph target so we want uh, a morph target uh, that is gonna hold the delta between our base fbx and our slack not slacker obj it's slacker fbx okay and uh we will have a morph target that will uh, convert to this slacker right to this character as you can see the skeleton is quite different and we all know uh, uh how problematic uh, is the the skeleton in uh uh, the, how problematic are the skeleton changes in uh, Unreal Engine uh, when uh, uh, when uh, you move the vertices too far away from the skeleton, right? So let's see how it goes. We will create this uh, slacker morph target, slacker test. We will call it like this. It doesn't really matter. You can name it whatever you want. And I'm going to press create. Don't forget to set smooth iterations to zero if it isn't already. And now we can go to our main window and uh, uh, go to create from pose and uh, navigate down here and select slacker test uh, morph target and select to bone snapshot. And we will call this bone snapshot slacker. This way we will know this is the slacker bone snapshot, right? So now that uh, we've created uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, bone snapshot, we can load it. This is how it looks. It, it just uh, changes the skeleton, right? So we will now um, create a morph target and we will call it slacker skeleton because we want to make sure we keep track of uh, what we create. So we know this slacker skeleton is uh, the bone snapshot uh, loaded, right? So we will create the morph target. Okay. And now we can go here and uh, export slacker skeleton we will overwrite this one it's fine and uh, we will also export uh, our final result that we want to achieve we will export this as well we want to make sure we have the same vertex count uh, and order right we will export it as well and now that we exported everything, we can load in this window by uh, going down here. We can load the bone snapshot. This is also new in Mesh Morpher with the version 276. And now if uh, uh, you will see that uh, our bone snapshot is uh, loaded here. And if uh, we go to create from Mesh Files, our uh, bone, snapshot, uh, bone snapshot is also loaded here. So this is very helpful, right? And uh, we will select the Slacker skeleton, which will match our current uh, state. And then uh, we will also select the Slacker OBJ, which is our final result uh, we want to achieve. So we will create a morph target that uh, will hold the deltas between this and this, right? So we will call this Slacker final or Slacker, doesn't matter. Create. Okay, and uh, I think uh, now we're good to go. Uh, save everything, we don't want any surprises. And uh, yeah, uh, let's create a new uh, animation blueprint so we can test our uh, uh, our new newly created uh, morph target and select uh, your base skeleton here, right? Just name it whatever, and you will see here we have output pose, and uh, we will also put here an input pose. You will uh, create this uh, animation blueprint the way you want. This is just uh, to demonstrate and show you how to get going, right? Uh, first of all, we will uh, load, uh, we will select our uh, new node, load one snapshot. This is how it looks and we will connect it here and we will select our slacker bone snapshot. And then we want also to 
uh, enable the morph target we just, uh, we just created. We want the skeleton and the delta between the skeleton, uh, the slacker skeleton and the final target, right? And uh, here we will expose uh, a spin and make map. We just want to enable here the morph target, right? And uh, let's arrange this a little bit and connect it to output result, right? And uh, select here Slacker. This was uh, the name of our uh, uh, final uh, final morph target, which is this. This is how it looks when we have the bone snapshot Slacker enabled. If we disable this and we open it, it will look very weird, right? Okay, uh, we have here uh, the modify curve. Let's promote this to a variable so we can uh, easily change it at any time, right? We don't have to bake anything for uh, this uh, example. And uh, I think this is it. We have slacker with a value of one. This is how it looks, right? And uh, if uh, we set it to zero two, it will transition between its states, right? As you can see, it's it's uh, working uh, correctly, right? Okay, and uh, I think this is it for this video. Uh, just uh, remember that uh, load the uh, bone snapshot is a cool feature, but it will uh, not uh, work uh, very good when uh, your uh, skeletal mesh uh, has a leader component or master pose component. Uh, in that case, it will not work uh, very good. I tried uh, this uh, with uh, metahumans. And uh, everything worked fine for the body, but for the head, because it inherits from the body, uh, it didn't work that good, right? So use this for a whole meshes like this and uh, everything will be fine. And uh, I think this is it for this video, guys. And uh, I hope uh, you like this new feature and uh, see you around. Bye.